I'm gonna be testing a viral setting spray that apparently never rubs off. I'm gonna put it to the test and see, does it really work? So let's go. Okay, so one way I could have done this video is if I just had all of my makeup on and I just went straight in with this setting spray. But then I thought to myself, what if I were to cheat and I were to use a kind of like super, like really pack in my foundation, use a different setting spray on top and then use this. I know it's a bit far-fetched, but I thought, you know what, you've always got viewers who kind of question things and you know I always see these comments on other people's channels and including my own sometimes where it's a little bit too much of a conspiracy theory going on so I put myself in your shoes and I thought right you know what I'm going to show you from scratch so what I have done is I've taken off half of my face here just the cheek area here and I'm going to put on the same makeup I've got everywhere else so all I have is my skincare and my primer on there I'm going to go straight in and use the foundation that I used which was my Kiko Milano full coverage two-in-one foundation and concealer in 050. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in exactly the same way that I applied it in the other area. And I'm just gonna like use the brush that was sent with this by the way, which was the 05 brush. There you go. Next, what I have on is my doll tan super coverage concealer in medium and I'm just gonna apply this here and there. Just gonna buff this in here. I'm super excited about trying this whole like test, just doing this test and seeing like does it really work? And I'm super excited to try this spray because it's honestly so viral. I've seen so many videos and I'm kind of unsure. I'm like, <sighs> Have they edited it? Because literally there's zero makeup on the towel. So I'm really excited to do this. Okay, so, and I'm also gonna make sure, by the way, there are no edits from this point so that you kind of like can see, you know? Like, has this really happened? By the way, I feel like this is my new perfect combination. <laughs> this foundation is so good. And this concealer. Okay, so the next thing I did was, what did I do on this side? Oh, I put a little bit of a layer of foundation on top. So I just got some on my hand. And then, there you go. That literally is my foundation on the other side. So, oh, what I'm gonna do now is just set that. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder. And I didn't actually use a puff for this bit. I just kind of like use the, spot, the brush. And to be fair, I've had this on for a few hours on the, well, the whole face. I just took this off just before we started. But I've had it on for like a few hours. Okay, let's just like, you know, like mattify the rest as well while we're at it. Okay, so that bit is done. Now, the next bit that I wanna go on to is just adding the kind of like bronzer that I used. So I'm using my one size made for shades, made for shade, bronze and sculpt trio, the medium dark trio, and I'm using the shade The Fix and just using my hourglass brush here. I just wanna get a tissue because I like to dab the brush onto the tissue after I pick up the product, just so that it's not like a whole load of product. And this is really pigmented, this kind of bronzer. So there you go. I think we're kind of like more or less the same as the other side now. Yeah. There you go, everything's the same. Okay, so the only thing I wanna do is, mm, oh yeah, I wanna add a little bit of mascara on my under eye area there because we've kind of taken that off. And I'm just gonna get a mirror for this. Now I feel like everything is the same, right? So I'm kind of happy with that. I'm gonna be dunking my face in the water, guys, like properly, fully dunking it in. Okay, so let me just get rid of this mascara. Just get rid of stuff that doesn't need to be here. 
Okay, what do I want to do with this brush? I just want to get rid of this. <laughs> I'm just going to put it over there. And how are you liking my hair, by the way? This is when I, when it's, when I did blow dry it, probably a couple of days ago, <laughs> I think. But it's like, I could tie it back, but then I was like, you know what? I could just tuck it behind my ears. And then, and then it started flicking out and I was like, let me just go with it. Why not, right? What do you think of the whole flicky out thing? I'm not too sure, but who cares? It's only just gonna live on YouTube forever, right? So anyway, that's done. So next up is kind of like spraying the face and then dunking my face in the water. But I've just realized, didn't I, didn't I wanna get like a, a hairband? Oh yeah, I did. I got a hairband just to tie my hair back. Okay, so. And I've got a towel. Let me just make sure I've got everything here because obviously I'm not editing this video. So I've got a white towel, as you can see, white towel, nothing on here. Nice clean white towel. I think this is from a hotel. I don't know what hotel it's from. Oh, okay, <laughs> we don't want to say, only because it's actually a really nice one and I don't want them coming after me for taking a towel. It's probably when I like was doing makeup on someone and then, you know, you use these little hand towels and then you just end up packing them away by accident. Yeah. Dirty little secrets coming out there. Okay, so I was about to dunk my face without even spraying. So the viral spray that I'm gonna be using is the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. This stuff apparently, like literally your makeup will, is transfer proof. So let me just read what it says. Light as air, non-sticky, this waterproof, transfer-proof setting spray locks in makeup with an all-day matte finish. No touch-ups needed. Instructions, shake, shake well before each use and keep eyes closed during application. Hold 10 to 12 inches away from face and spray in, a, in circular motion for even distribution on skin. Okay. Let's go, shake well. Obviously we need to let the spray like set first, right? I'm not just gonna spray it and then dunk my face. I shouldn't have, I've got lenses in today. I shouldn't have really put lenses on. Okay, I've shaken it. Let's go. That is a lot. I don't know if I spray too much. It's like hairspray. I'm sure I didn't need any more than that. I'm sure I have got a de decent amount on. I just breathed all that in, hold on. I, I didn't feel any kind of hair. Whoa. That doesn't help that I have a kind of like throat infection at the moment. So that maybe wasn't the greatest idea, but I have to say it's already like, I thought my face was gonna look matte after doing that. It's feeling a little bit tight. So it's almost like a veil that it's put on top. It's definitely still matte. I honestly thought that it was gonna actually look quite shiny after spraying it. So I'm quite surprised. I mean, look, it's dry, right? So maybe we can dunk the face now. I'm gonna prep for this. Okay, I'm prepping for this. So let me just tie my hair back. Let me just lightly tie it back. Okay. Oh, I feel like I should have put like a towel headband on or something just to like Oh, forget it. Who cares? My hair, my hair's gonna get wet, right? Okay, I've got a bowl of water here. I really hope I don't spill this, and I hope this does not go terribly wrong. But let me get the, the towel ready. Put the towel there. What is that? I've just got like, oh, it's just like makeup sitting on it. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's dunk the face. Um, this is like prepping to do a 10 minute video, a timed video. This is what happens to me where I just like have to give myself a little like pep talk in my head, you know? Like you can do it. By the way, I can't swim guys. 
<laughs> I don't know why that was relevant because water. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm trying to like explain to you like why it's dunking my face in a water is not like normal for me because obviously I don't put my head under water when I'm in the swimming pool. I'm not scared of water, but I just can't swim. That is a whole nother story. You know what that story is? Let me just quickly tell you while we're waiting. <laughs> what? I'm sure we can give this spray a little like 30 seconds or so. So basically what happened when I was at school, you know how you have swimming lessons and stuff. Well, my swimming teacher, who wasn't just my swimming teacher, she was also my like English teacher and she really did not like me. Like she clearly did not like me. And we were at the swimming pool and like, this is when I was at junior school. Like I was like, probably like, I don't know, 11. I don't even know how old you have to be at junior school. So I can't even remember, but I think I was like about 11, right? Or maybe, no, I can't have been 11 because this is when we moved to a new area and I hated it. Uh, this was when I was like probably 14, right? So basically she, uh, I was around the swimming pool and she was like, right, you need to jump in. And I was like, I don't know how to swim. I can't jump into a swimming pool. And basically I, I wasn't doing it. So she pushed me in. And then after that, I was like, I'm not going to these swimming lessons. Like that's it. And ever since I just didn't learn how to swim. I really wish I did know how to swim because obviously I love water and I'm a true cancerian, but you know, she kind of like mentally scarred me. But anyway, let's go for it. Let's just dunk the face in. I hope you can see this. Like I'm gonna try and keep this up. Hold on, I can't get my eyes in. Why is this so difficult? I feel like, okay, look, it might, I might go a little bit down out of frame, right? Okay, it's all on my face. Hold on, I need to get the sides. Okay, now I've definitely got it all over. Okay, let's put this here. My face is officially wet. Okay, so this is crazy. Like, look at my face. Like, <laughs> who even... Where, why would you get into the swimming pool with makeup on? I don't even get it. Why would you even go anywhere with... I can feel this has gone in my eyes and I can feel like I'm going to start getting red eyes now. So that's crazy. Okay, but... Okay, basically my face is wet. Let's just go. I've got the towel here, right? Nice and clean. Okay. I mean, there's a tiny bit on there. Right, I would be lying if I said like all these videos of like, oh my God, like there is a tiny bit on there, but it's like hardly anything. Okay. I mean, okay, that's really good. I'm not wearing a waterproof mascara and this mascara has not transferred at all. Okay, this is the towel, guys. Can you see there's a very, very small amount. I'm really hoping you can see this. Very small amount of makeup, but that could be because I have just literally applied it, right? Like, you know, like your makeup sets for a little while first. So that could be the reason. But honestly, that is so good. That is really good. And my face is still matte. So I am super, super impressed with that. That is really good. Okay, you can get into a pool and completely like drench your face and you are still gonna look good. You're still gonna look matte. It definitely kind of seals your makeup. So I'm super, super impressed with that. And yeah, that, that was my kind of like whole situation trying that out because I was really like wondering like, does this even work? Um, yeah, I'm still recovering from the sore throat. So that's why my voice is a bit weird. I'm really glad I tried that because now I feel like I would 100% use this. You know what I think about setting sprays, right? I don't think many of them work. This is the only one that I have actually tried where I'm like, wow. I mean, obviously I would wanna kind of use it and then see how my makeup is for the rest of the day. I've literally like only had it on a few hours apart from that one section and then then I've used it and like wet my face like I would really love to know what my makeup sits like for the entire day so I might try that another time and then let you know what how it goes but hopefully this has given you a good idea as to whether this works which it does in my opinion it is the most smallest amount of makeup that came off which I personally think is just because I just recently put my makeup on but I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video enjoyed watching me drench my face, dunk my face in a whole kind of like bowl of water. I think that is well worth it. So worth it. This is definitely 
a spray that I think you should get. If you want any setting spray, this is the setting spray to get. I don't like setting sprays, but I absolutely love this because it genuinely does work. So that is a 10 out of 10 for me. I am so in love with one size products. I have so many one size products now because we don't get it in this region. So anytime I go to the US, I pick a whole load of one size stuff up. Please can we have one size in my region, please? Because it is honestly such good makeup. It stays put, it's amazing. And yeah, I am like, all for it. So sending you loads of love wherever you are in the world. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.